In this video, I'm gonna collect, construct, and critique every LEGO Sonic set. But stay alert because the Sonic cast is preparing a big surprise. You're too slow! Okay, so a while back, LEGO revealed an official Sonic the Hedgehog theme that released with five different sets. So I went ahead and ordered all of them. All right, so we got one, two, three, and four. I thought there were five. Oh well, maybe I'm just tripping. This looks like a good set to start off with. It's called Sonic Speed Sphere Challenge. Of course, it comes with the blue hedgehog himself, but the big idea of this set is that you put Sonic inside this speed sphere, and then you load it into this launcher. And for obstacles, the set comes with this archway, a ramp, and a moto bug. It also has some collectibles from the games, like rings, an item box, and a chaos emerald. Three, two, one. Okay, so apparently I set this up wrong. You're actually supposed to have it rest on these two black pieces. There are also some cool side builds with this set, like this beach area with a lounge chair, a cooler, and a chili dog, Sonic's favorite food. And finally, a patch of grass with a tree, massive speakers, and a DJ table, because it looks like Sonic's trying to throw a party. Okay, hold up. This won't be much of a party without guests. So let's open this set that comes with Sonic's best friend. Not only do we get Tails, but it also comes with his ride, the Tornado Plane. I like the look of this one, it's a very simple and compact design. And these random studs are so Sonic can stand on top of the plane just like he does in the games. Also the Sonic minifigure in this set has a winky face, or it could be that he's squinting because up ahead is a Buzz Bomber. Okay, mission success, but the plane took a bit of damage and we need a place to repair it. Hey! While Tails works on the plane, let's check out the inside of his workshop. Of course, there's lots of tools and gadgets, there's also a spot for a Chaos Emerald, and this perch for one of the friendly animals. Which, for those who are unfamiliar, these little animals that you see throughout the sets were captured by Dr. Robotnik to power his robot creatures called Badniks. Oh, looks like the plane is fixed, and now they can pull up to the party. Okay, okay, it's starting to pick up a little bit, but this ratio is way off, and we need some chicks. Not that chick. This chick. This is Amy's Animal Rescue Island. I like this one because it's a fully fleshed out scenery. And if I got stranded here, I think I'd be okay with that. It's got a beach area with this merry-go-round, a sand castle. And if you're one of those people that will only swim in pool water, it's got you covered. On the upper level, there's a hut for Amy to make some refreshments for the party. And if this evil crab meat tries to steal them, that won't be a problem. This island also has some hidden secrets. If Amy hits this spot with her hammer, the waterfall will reveal a Chaos Emerald. There's also this opening wall that reveals a spot to take care of the animals inside the island. But that'll have to wait because Tails just pulled up to Uber Amy to the party. Okay, now this is looking like a proper party. But it looks like Dr. Eggman is trying to crash the party. This is Sonic's Green Hill Zone Loop Challenge, and it's the biggest LEGO Sonic set of them all. It's another one of those speed sphere courses, so it comes with the launcher, and for the course itself, this one has a bridge, some patches of grass, a giant ring, this picnic area, and the iconic Green Hill Zone Loop. And connecting them all together makes one massive course. For enemies, it comes with a Neutron, a Chopper, and the diabolical Dr. Eggman who's trying to crash the party with his Egg Walker. <laughs> Come on! Piece of cake! <laughs> So far, I'm really liking these Sonic LEGO sets, but there are some Sonic sets that technically aren't part of this lineup, including the very first one. This is a level pack for a Toys to Life game called LEGO Dimensions that came out in 2015, and because this was released nearly a decade ago, it's gone up in value quite a bit. I spent $70 on this. So it comes with two mini builds. This one is of Sonic's race car that you may have seen in some of the Sonic racing games, and the other is Tails' tornado plane. And you can use both these vehicles in the LEGO Dimensions game. But what made this such a cool set at the time was that it included the very first Sonic minifigure. It looks very similar to the newer one, but when you take a closer look, the minor changes really start to add up. 
But regardless, this set was the only way to get a Sonic minifigure for a long time. Until six years later when LEGO released this set. Sonic the Hedgehog Green Hill Zone, released under the LEGO Ideas line where fans can submit set ideas and if it gets enough votes, LEGO will make it into an official set. So first impressions, it's a little bit smaller than I was expecting, but I understand this is meant to be more of a display piece for collectors. It takes key elements of the Green Hill Zone level from the original Sonic the Hedgehog game, like the loops, checkpoints, bounce pads, and crams them all into one diorama. And Sonic's life counter in the bottom corner is a nice touch as well. Yes, sir. There are also some subtle ways to customize this set, like swapping the screens on the item boxes, or changing the expression of the moto bug. And speaking of which, whenever you complete the build of an enemy, the instructions show Sonic losing his rings as if he took damage. It also comes with this little display stand for him, and all 7 Chaos Emeralds. Overall, I'm pretty happy with this one. The little references and attention to detail really tie it all together. But I can't say the same for Dr. Eggman. I mean, the Eggmobile looks fine, but this brick-built Eggman is looking absolutely cooked. Okay, so these were a nice little distraction, but let's get back to the official Sonic theme sets because some new ones came out recently. Got this set with Shadow, this one with Knuckles, we can't forget about these brick heads. And I'm not sure if this counts as a set, but a LEGO Sonic keychain. I also went to Walmart and found this poly bag called Kiki's Coconut Attack. In this set, you get Kiki, and I see what they were going for here, but to be honest, it looks nothing like nope. it does in the game. So yeah, not a whole lot going on with this one. And same goes for this keychain. It's a keychain. Shadow's Escape. Let's be real, the main reason you're buying this set is for the Shadow minifigure, and my goodness, the detail on this minifigure is amazing. The set also comes with Shadow's motorcycle, as well as the stasis chamber he's been sleeping in for the past 50 years. Oh, and we got this Rhino bot as well. There's not much to these builds on their own, but altogether they make for a really well-rounded interactive set. And if you push down on this platform, the chamber will break open and lower the barrier. Now another character I'm surprised LEGO didn't release sooner is Knuckles. But it looks like they finally came through with Knuckles' Guardian Mech. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't think this Guardian Mech is actually in any of the Sonic games. But it still looks pretty cool, and it depicts a lot of attributes of Knuckles himself, like his fists, hair, and shoes. But what's odd about that one is that the top of his shoe looks exactly like a 2x3 plate, but they decided to represent that with a 2x2 instead. Anyways, the set also comes with the Master Emerald, which is extremely powerful and grants its user the ability to think anything into existence. And Knuckles has been tasked to guard it from skilled thieves like Rouge the Bat. But what's this? Looks like Sonic showed up with some invitations to the party, so they're gonna pull up to that real quick. Now LEGO makes these small collectible sets called Brickheads, basically the LEGO equivalent of a Funko Pop. And right here we've got some Sonic the Hedgehog Brickheads. This one is of Sonic, which you probably already figured out, Tails, who looks by far the best, and lastly, this Shadow and Knuckles double pack. A bit of an odd pairing, but it gets the job done. This may be a bit of a hot take, but I've never been too keen on LEGO Brickheads in general. Even though these are meant to be more of a wacky caricature, something about them still looks off to me. But if you're into these, I'm kind of jealous because I could see how they'd be a ton of fun to collect. And I actually think they do a good job highlighting the features of the characters they're based off of. Alright, this party has really picked up. They even made a massive cake to celebrate with. And it looks like that does it for every LEGO Sonic the Hedgehog set. <laughs> Wait, Eggman's returned? This time with the Master Emerald and the Death Egg Robot. And because he wasn't invited to the party, he's gonna destroy it. You could defeat me? You're too slow. What? 
This was actually a surprise birthday party for Dr. Eggman this whole time? Wow, I did not see that one coming. Happy birthday. And there you have it, that is every single LEGO Sonic set ever released. Thank you so much for watching, I'll catch you on the next one.